Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy. I'm a math tutor from London, and today I'm going to teach you some basic mathematical concepts. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to interpolate. Now, to interpolate, first of all, we need a graph, and to create a graph, you need the data. So, I'm going to draw the graph here. This is my x-axis. And this is my y axis. Now, in my graph, this is going to represent the age of children, and this is going to represent their height. So I must label this height and age. Now, let's say I just have a scatter plot of data that looks something like this. And if you want to know how to create a scatter plot, please see my other video. So, with this scatter plot of age versus height, we need to draw a line of best fit. And the line of best fit will look something like this here. Now, this point here is called the Y intercept. It's where it crosses the Y axis. And it's roughly the, the height of a child that has just been born. Okay, in this case, I'm going to say this y intercept is 40. So what, when x is 0, y is 40. So this point here is 40. Now, you can also figure out the equation of this line using the computer or from figuring out the gradient. In this case, my gradient is 10. So the equation of my line is y equals 10x plus 40. Okay, so first of all, how to interpolate graphically. Let's say you have a child, age 10, and you want to work out what height, according to your data, that that child roughly is. So, the way we do that is we draw a line vertically up from 10, until we hit the line of best fit right here. And then draw along horizontally until we hit the y-axis. And that point there is 140 centimetres. Now, if we have a child at age 10, we draw up and we draw along, and this should be 140 centimetres. Alternatively, we can interpolate using the, the equation, and we take our x value along the x-axis, which is 10. We put it into here, so we have y equals 10 times 10 plus 40, which is 100 plus 40, so it's 140. So y equals 140. So when x is 10, y is 140, and there you've interpolated using the equation. So you can either interpolate graphically by drawing up and along, or you can interpolate using the, the equation here. Now there's one more thing you can do. Let's say you have a child whose height is 180 centimetres, and you want to work out roughly how old that child is. So you draw along, from your 180, you draw along here, until you hit the line of best fit, exactly the same, and this time you come down to the x-axis and you hit 14. So this child is 14, so roughly a child of 14 is 180 centimetres tall. And that is how to interpolate.